Hey, you back Superior Cuts and Styles with Sir Reginald. Today I want to show you guys where I get some of my most premier barber tools from. It's from a website called MD Barber Supply out of California. These guys supply some of the best blades I've ever worked with. This is it right here, people. Not some website, not a website, but the website you want to get your gear from. MD Barber Supply. That's at www dot mdbarber.com where you can get your hands on some of the best goodies in the game. I've got this razor right here. They call this the Master, the MD Master, and it's used with the real thin blade from the Derby crew. And with the start Derby blade, I'm able to get very good angles with my shaves. You put the blade on right like this. Let's see if I can get that in there. Here we go, you apply that derby blade, like so. Snap that into place, lock it down. You don't have to worry about that blade shifting at all on you during your shave. Carries a great weight to it in order for you to maneuver with your curves and anything else you want to do with the beard or just a flat out shave. Excellent shaving utensil, it's become one of my favorites. This is the master. Next we're going to move into my all time favorite trimmer blade. I've shown you guys this one before. This is the MD T1 trimmer blade made exclusively from MD. This is the newest blade they have out. We're going to put this one in the test today. It's called the MD Phantom. And first and foremost, I love the name. It, it, it has power, the Phantom. But one thing I would suggest since this is a product review, if you're going to name this blade the Phantom, you got to change the name on the T1 trimmer. I mean, the T1 trimmer is by far the Excalibur of blades out there and I'm gonna go ahead and name it myself the Excalibur Dave you can give me my 30 percent if you like but you know I named it let everybody know the Excalibur of blades the T1 trimmer so we're gonna move on today with the Phantom I'm gonna attach it to my Andy's master here and we're gonna make some magic happen today you guys be blessed and ride with me As you can see, as we crack this joker open, it has a signature black steel blade. It has the MD trimmer blade. Comes complete with the MD flat blade. Or steel blade, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and attach that there. Even has its own screws. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've tightened up my phantom blade, and what I can see immediately, if I can get you close on that, immediately, that the steel blade and the moving blade are flush. This is much closer than I've ever set my Andy's Master Blade, and I've adjusted these clippers to get it as close as I can, so I can get you to zoom, and I think that's as close as I can get. But that's the immediate thing that I notice, is that with the phantom, I am right up on my steel blade. So that should provide a very, very close cut. You got superior cuts and styles with Sir Reginald. Y'all haven't heard me say that a million times, but I'm going to keep saying it. It's like Mike Jones, Mike Jones, Sir Reg. Anyway, this is not Bobby's world. You just have to look like that. This is your boy Sir Reg, and I'm getting ready to go ahead and give him a low taper using the MD Phantom Blade. First thing I did, went ahead and shampooed his hair. You never want to cut dirty hair, especially with a new blade. I'm not calling you dirty, but grease and stuff <laughs> messes with my clippers, dog. I, 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 I ain't saying that. I, feel, I, feel I should have said that better. I, I, no, no, anyway, I know. <laughs> I know what you mean. anyway, you don't want to cut greasy, oily hair. You want to go ahead and wash all that out. You're gonna get your most effective haircut. I'm gonna go ahead to this cut. Graduate the 21 strokes to the sides, all while you're drying the hair. Because we want this hair to be habitually wavy. 21 strokes on the back. I know y'all kind of need to do 21. I'm getting there. I got this. 
21 on this side. Stroke it that way while you dry it. It's going to help lock in that wave pattern. All right, we're getting ready to go on into it with the Phantom. I started off using the Andy's Magnetic Guard. This is uh, number one. I'm going to go with the grain. Let me know if you feel, feel any pulling at all or anything. I ain't like that. You said it's a, it's a Phantom. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's the Phantom. <laughs> the Rose Roars. Thus far, I haven't noticed anything out of the norm. You know, the hair's just falling right off. I'm not putting much effort behind the stroke. You're not feeling, feeling any pulling or anything at all going on? No, sir. Sir Charles. <laughs> all right. All right, this is my first pass with the MD Phantom Blade. I'm going to try to get as close and as, as zoom in as I can. I want you to see that there's no... Let's see, back that up a little bit. That the wild hairs are at a minimum. That's one thing I do notice about it, is the wild hairs that are usually left behind after one pass. They're at a minimum. We're going to start on our rear taper. We're going to go ahead and open up with the number one. All the way back. And sir, how does this blade feel back on the back of your neck? Man, I'm about to fall asleep right now. Okay. I feel like I'm a king size seven. That's a good sign. <laughs> the neck is by far the most sensitive portion of the head. I've said that before. Just reiterating. So if the clipper feels good. Yes, sir. Sir, raise up. Next, I'm going to come off of the number one and bring it on back down to the zero. I'm going to start working this area right here. Starting off open and walking it down. If I can zoom in on that, you can see that I can. I was able to effectively zero that blend out without causing skin irritation or chewing up his neck with the clipper. So we did good. Get a good zero. I'm using my MDT1 trimmer blade, now known as the Excalibur blade. I'm going to go ahead and work on this hair combing it as far outward as I can.
preciseness of this edge up, I'm going to go ahead and use the MD Master razor. See, earlier we equipped that with a brand new blade. sockets, very sensitive area. I'm able to work that blade right in there. Now one thing I was used to prior to using this blade is having my point of a, my toe of the blade to use like a pencil tip. And with this blade you can't really see the toe. You kind of have to have faith that it's there. But it will not allow you to dig into your client. It's very limited blade exposure from the tool. Also works the same with the heel. Never using the heel of the blade. 